Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the cost averaging spreadsheet. I designed it a, several months ago to assist me in setting up a grid trading type of setup forex market. You could also use it in futures or commodities or stocks or any other financial instrument. The focus was on the forex market mainly because of the flexible lot sizes and also the amount of leverage that you have in the forex market. Now, I've gone ahead and brought up a price chart in MetaTrader and I just wanted to show potential use of how the spreadsheet will work in practice when you use it to trade manually or you, you use the lot sizes to trade in an expert advisor. Now this red line here represents the initial lot that you would place and that can be anywhere whatever your trading strategy determines where you will enter that will be the initial lot that you place and let's say that this is a sell order 0.1 lot at this price now uh, with the grid trading type of setup cost averaging strategy rather than placing a stop loss and, and a fixed take profit on each trade I could actually place trades every so often as the market goes I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and do this okay well in this example I went ahead and set up a grid where every two pip move that we would place additional sell orders just to show how the cost averaging would work and so and uh, as you can see the market continued up for like another what about 40 pips almost and then it came back it did a retracement and this is the power of cost averaging in this case it actually did a 100 percent retracement from our entry now let's go back to the spreadsheet and see how this all relates now here's the cost averaging spreadsheet i've gone ahead and set up like i showed you in the metatrader i showed you how we place trades every two pips in the scenario number one you can see where the grid the relative grid is every two pips this is what this row represents and there's only two rows that you need to be concerned with changing every other row already has a formula there's only uh, two rows in terms of computing the grid that you need to be concerned with and that is the next DD lot for scenario one that's row number 21 that's going to be the each lot size that you're going to use you could use the same lot size over and over again or what I recommend is increasing the lot size as the length of the grid increases this way on your retracement you can earn more money when the market retraces and then those are the only two that you really need to be concerned with everything else will be calculated for you also to make it easier for you to uh, say copy it into your expert advisor or work with you could actually work out approximately how you would place each trade you could work it out up here this is where the inputs here comes in ignore the take profit percentage just focus on these three now the price zone I hope I'm not too confusing here the, the price zone represents the total DD grid here row 25 so price zone and this is similar so what would happen is every price zone every column in which the price zone is less than the price zone here we're going to use the lot size this one here and the grid open which is how many pips have to the market has to move in order to place the next trade we're going to put that in the DD grid which is here and as you can see it, it's true for the first 10 pips price zone is the distance from the original starting point so 10 pips after the original starting point you can see now we have moved up to lot size of 2 so you can see that after 10 we have actually on the next one we actually jumped up to a lot size of 2 you would have to type all this stuff in manually you have to type in 0.1 and 0.1 and 0.1 and 0.1 etc etc and then when you get to the next price zone you'd have to type in 0.2 or 0.2 0.2 or you can use a copy and paste function to copy and paste the values 
and then again I want to sh point out that uh, we are now in a different price zone we're above 20 so we now change the lot size to uh, 0.35 you can see that we're above 20 so we're gonna change the lot size here to 0 0.35 0 0.35 0.35 so the goal of this is actually to simulate okay what if what if the market went X amount of pips and how much uh, margin would be required to take on this position and how much of a pullback would be necessary to break even this is where this comes in handy here I already have this calculated how many pips it takes to break even how much of a retracement does the market have to make from the original from the initial lot how much of a retracement is necessary in order to uh, break even and now you can probably see where uh, all this stuff comes into play uh, as far as the pip value and spread and leverage exchange rate margin let me pause the video and we're gonna go into the inputs necessary to make sure that the spreadsheet is as accurate as possible 